So I'm just sitting on my desk. Sit with this. So I'm just sitting on my desk at the moment purely because. We're... Yep, time to make a cup of art. And it is green tea with Manuka honey today. Today is actually an editing day and scheduling day. So I've just got back from a school run and as you saw back there I am making a cup of green tea with honey, Manuka honey, absolutely love it. And today is really a video editing day. I've got four videos to edit for the Geek and Noise channel and Luxury Lifestyle channel and two client videos, so six videos in total. And then I've also got some scheduling to do and some general business things to catch up with today. So I've just finished editing another video and this will be up on the channel in a couple of weeks time. But what I've really been spending the last sort of 15, 20 minutes doing is searching for a battery charger. Now this is for my Canon G7X, it uses NB13L batteries. I'm looking for something that will charge maybe two or three batteries at the same time. The only thing I've found is this one, which charges two batteries at the same time. But I've had one of these before and it only lasted about three months and then it became faulty. What would be awesome is if a company made a like docking station that you could put maybe two, three, four batteries in and charge them all at the same time. Maybe even different manufacturer batteries with different adapters. That would be absolutely amazing. If any of you know of such a device, please do let me know in the comments section below. Okay, I've been sorting out these products. This has got to go back in the box. This is the Sonos Play 1, which is a really good speaker system, very good audio quality on this. So I've got to put this back in the box because uh, I've finished with that. I also got this, and I'm not sure if I'm going to use this myself. This is a, a Rode micro boom pole and you put a microphone on the end of it and sort of hold it out of frame when you're recording or interviewing somebody. And it's not really something I would think I'd use. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. And then the other thing I've got to pack away is uh, the, this Editor's Keys microphone. This is an SL600, part of their studio series. Now, I have mentioned it before in a few videos, but I started up another company last year called Glue Media Group. And I've done some photographic work and social media stuff uh, and some very short videos for Editor's Keys. In fact, if you keep an eye on my Twitter, on the Geekanoids Twitter account, and Glue Media Group as well, you'll see some of the editor's key stuff that I did. And I took the photos for this particular project with the Sony A7R Mark II, and they came out really well. I used that in combination with my Loxia 50 millimeter lens. So I've just got to really sort out all of these boxes and get them packed away. So let's do this now. Let's get rid of these and get organized. I just like to have everything clear in the studio. So I've literally just got to pack these away. That's going. Uh, this is a Sonos Connect to go with that Sonos system, so that can go as well. And I think this is another Sonos Play 1. Uh, no, that's the box for that one. So that's that done. And I've also got the Sonos Play 5 there. So we get all of these sorted, packed away. I'll put this back in the box later. Okay, let's do, oh, the steam. <sighs> these saucepans are terrible anyway, apart from that steam hole there. These are actually from Sainsbury's and we thought they looked really good because they're nice heavyweight saucepans, but the heat transfers from the actual saucepan to the lid handle and you need a glove anyway to take them off. But I wanted to show you, not that I could burn my hand with steam, but that dinner is underway and it is our favourite, or at least my son's favourite, spaghetti bolognese. If you watched last weekend's video, you'll know that we went food shopping. I took you with me. And the reason I want to talk to you about food shopping is because it's my least favourite thing to do. I don't like it. It's just because of the repetitive nature, I suppose. I don't mind going shopping for clothes or going on a day trip, maybe to London or somewhere else 
to actually do shopping, but food shopping, I think it's just the repetitive nature. And also, we do like a, a main shop on the weekend, and then we maybe do a little tiny top-up shop midweek, but the main shopping at the weekend seems to get consumed so quickly. It just, within a couple of days, it all seems to have gone. Obviously, it's not all eaten, but all of the nice things uh, that we purchase uh, are just consumed so quickly. Let me know if that happens in your household as well. It certainly seems to happen here every single week. So let's check in for our daily chat with Milo. And believe it or not, I recorded him in this position at the weekend. And you have moved, haven't you? You have moved since the weekend, yeah, many a time. But you're just so content and so comfy, aren't you? Hey. Eh? And you keep looking up because you're waiting for mum to come in, aren't you? You waiting till you hear mum come in? Hey? Are you excited when mum comes in? You're a good boy, aren't you? Hey? You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Who's that?